19 years old at Fuller Beast TV, Opaso, a university student of Manitoba has been reportedly shot by a Canadian police in Manitoba. Unfortunately, he didn't make it, and his family are currently seeking for justice for this 19 years old boy. And according to his family, they said Opaso has been experiencing mental health crisis at the time of the incident. When we listened to the audio, the only thing we heard from the police was drop the knife, drop the knife, drop the knife, and then the next thing. Back, 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 gunshot. Then a few hours later, was declared that Opaso or Passa didn't make it. May gentle soul continue to rest in paradise. And let's be honest, huh? You and I know, say, one of those countries may do our sister since when they colonize us now, Canada. Canada, 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 Canada. Of course, you guys know that song now. So let us cruise a little bit. Firstly, my condolences to the family of uh, 19 years old at Fuller Beast TV in Opaso from the University of uh, Manitoba. May God continue to uplift the family, give them strength to continue and to get justice that, that Opaso, Opaso deserve. Not justice from the public, or the justice, the real justice that it deserves. You know, one of the greatest blessings as a Nigerian eh, for any parent eh, is to be able to take care of his child, you know, welcome a baby, a baby into the world and uh, providing for that baby, that baby growing up to become a really nice, fine man or woman in the future. And uh, of course, you know the trend nowadays, everybody trying to jackpa. The jackpa syndrome is too much in Nigeria. And even young, as, 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 as young as 15, 14 years old, they want to jackpa out of Nigeria. That is crazy. As young as 12 years old, child already know the meaning of jackpa. A 12 years old child already know that, yeah, the country that he or she is living in is almost trash. No basic amenities, and uh, because of the internet, the child wants to go over uh, to another country to experience the culture and the lifestyle over there. I do not blame them. I do not blame them. If you have the means, please do it for your kids. And when we send our kids there, we want them to go far. We want them to succeed. Despite going to school, despite them finishing their studies, we also want them indirectly as parents. To succeed and to also uplift the family because we believe there's a greener pasture out there. The salary are good. We believe it. The salary are good. That is why all those countries are getting better because indirectly our energy, our spirit, our energy, the gene, the, the gene that flows in us, uh, want Canada to succeed, want the USA to succeed. We do not even Pass, we we do not even have such uh such zeal, such gene that flows in us to Nigeria. So spirit that flows in us to Nigeria. Because the only thing we talk about Nigeria is oh Nigeria no we're better. And then our spirit will automatically register that. Our spirit will not work towards Nigeria getting better. Our chi will not work towards Nigeria getting better. Our multiple chiefs as Nigeria will not combine together to work towards Nigeria getting better. Instead, we are working towards USA getting better, Canada getting better. You know, our chi is just concentrating on that. Yeah, but yet, and yes, when we send our children there, we want them to, to succeed. We want them to be a fine man and fine woman. We want them to bring in the dollars. We don't want them to die. We don't want them to pass on. Even if they can't even bring it, we, we want them to come back home and continue doing what they are doing. We do not want them to buy. 
Well, we don't know what actually happened and everything, but according to uh, official statement from the University of uh, Manitobi Nigerian Student Association regarding Afolabi Stephen Opaso, they said in the light of the tragic event involving the shooting by the police service on December 31st, 2003, December 31st, 2003, the last day of the month, which resulted in an unfortunate death of uh, Afolabi Stephen an international student from Nigeria, the University of Manitoba and Nigeria Association, wishes to express his sincere concern and sympathy. Afolabi made a brutal end while uh, grappling with a mental health crisis. We are saddened by the loss of one of our own. The distressing event has ignited pain, fear, and frustration within our community, prompting us to demand answers. Mental health should never be dealt be, should never be a death sentence, and Afolabi did not deserve to miss such a tragic end. Our commitment to seeking answers and justice remains unwavering. The well-being of all in our of all our, of all our community members is of utmost importance to us, and we will pray. We will persist in our pursuit of truth and accountability. So, guys. I wish Afolabi and, and Afolabi well, and my deepest condolences to the family. It was badly for mental illness, so possibly when he held that knife, there were a lot of millions of things triggering in his brain. He wasn't really thinking straight, and the police, of course, you know, it's really hard for them to also carry out their job as well, you know. Don't know when to act and when not to react, you know. Just cause caught in the cross, in the cross uh, section. Well, that being said, Anthony Joshua and Francis Ugano will be fighting eight March this year on the eighth of uh, January, February, March this year. And who are you rooting for already? Me, to be sincere, I respect where Francis Ugano is coming from, his struggles and everything. And if you check Francis Ugano and his uh, and uh, Francis Ugano and Anthony Joshua, they have similar characters. They are both extremely humble, like you will never see. Francis Ugano maltrashing his opponent. Also, Anthony Joshua as well. They have mutual respect for other fighters. And when you have such caliber of African giants fighting each other, you know, it will be so, so difficult to point, to choose the one you are rooting for. Anthony Joshua, you are a Nigerian. And meanwhile, Francis Ugano, I think from Cameroon. We respect you, Francis Ogano. We appreciate you. We like what you are doing and you stand for Africa. We saw the support you gave to Israel and the support you go you Israel uh, Adesanya and the support you, you give to Kamar Usman. But this time, I have to stand straight tall for my nation and for my brothers and sisters first. I am going with Anthony Joshua. Anthony Joshua has heard it. You are coming to Anthony Joshua era, and Anthony Joshua will mess you up. If it was Anthony Joshua coming to your ring, then I would say you will mess up Anthony Joshua. But this time, I stand firm, and I said it. Anthony Joshua will mess you up. Hmm? Mess you up with respect, though not with disrespect. It's going to mess you up. So I'm rooting for Anthony Joshua here. Hands up, hands down. Anthony Joshua will beat uh, Francis Ugano. Anthony Joshua will beat Francis Ugano. Simple and short. Clear cut. Nothing more to say. Nothing less. That is my final uh, say. Coming match. 
you are going to witness it. You are going to witness greatness. You are going to witness too great of uh, uh, boxers run into each other. And that being said, this is not for a fact. Sadio Mane has constructed a stadium in his village, Bamile in Senegal. He played football on the former mud pitch. The same mud pitch he played football when he visited his village in 2022. He took it upon himself to transform it to a stadium. He has now built a stadium worth 450, 455,000 pounds, hospital worth 250,000 pounds, school, fuel station, and post office for his people. Fuel station and post office for his people. Fuel station and post office for his people. That's good, man. Start your money. May God continue to bless you. May those money never cease. It will keep coming more and more and more and more and more and more. And double, 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 double blessing will locate you. You will never grow old. You will play until 50. Can I hear somebody say amen? You will play until 50. Yes, this is what we want our own uh, rich people to do. Doing something tangible. Not spray money in public. Doing something really, really tangible for the public. 